Welcome back to Trading Card Tuesday. I'm Debbie with Ugly Dog Creations, and I'm here with another ATC or ACEO on this Tuesday for you. And this particular one has to do or align with the Copic Color Challenge. That's where Copic puts out three colors in their line, and you use just those three colors to create a piece of art. So this trading card is done with just those three colors. They happen to be Y21, RV69, and R32 for the month of May. So if you haven't already done so, go out there and check hashtag Copic Colors, and you're going to see a variety of artists out there. Now, it is kind of challenging with these. The RV69 is quite dark, very, very dark. So one of the things that I actually use in this is the tip-to-tip -tip method. And you're going to see that pretty much right here. I'm using the tip of one marker to touch a tip of the other to create a variation in that color. And it worked quite nicely. It worked quite nicely. And I actually had done some test swatches just to color over to see what would happen. And that would be something that you might want to do before starting in on a coloring like this, especially if you're not familiar with the colors. Do some swatches to see what's going to happen with them. How are they going to bleed together? How are they going to blend? So I did that before, and this is the kind of method that I wanted to use. The other thing you, I used is that buttercup color Y21 in the background. It's a jellyfish. And, you know, jellyfish have those layers and layers. So this kind of hopefully gives you that feel of it's kind of that layers in, in there and that you're seeing maybe through some of it into something else. So, like I said, if you haven't already, go out there and check out Cope, uh, hashtag Copic Colors. Also, while you're there, if you're on Instagram, you can check me out at Ugly Dog Creations. I usually post something every day around either arts, uh, my children's books, or my illustrations, or it may even have something to do with my schoolhouse. I live in an old schoolhouse and have an art studio there, so you might see some information about that. But I usually post every day, so go ahead and check that out. If you haven't done already done so, you might want to consider on subscribing to my YouTube videos. I don't put out too many, but I put out one a week, and that's for Trading Card Tuesday. So every Tuesday, you're going to see a video on an ATC or ACEO in a traditional art form, and you're going to see it's in this small size. So it's something manageable. Honestly, it's something that most people can do. If you can't do it daily, at least a weekly a small art piece that you can finish. So go ahead and consider on liking and subscribing to this. And that's really all that I have for you. I hope that you have a fabulous day. And as always, I challenge you to get creative today. Have a great day.